right, so this is a quick tutorial on how to change the uh, size of the find and replace menu option um, where you're actually doing the finding and the replacing. So what I mean by that is if you hit control F uh, within here, you can see uh, find and current buffer and you can see uh, the, the size of the font here. Uh, for some users, this might be too small and you would like to make it larger and uh, more apparent um, so you can really see what you're doing in this menu. So in order to change this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, and then you're going to click on the Style Sheet option here. Um, this is going to essentially load the file that has your um, custom styles uh, for the theme that you're using. From here, the first thing we need to make sure to do is comment what we're doing. And so we're going to say this is changing the font size for Find and Replace. From here, um, we're going to do something similar to CSS. We're going to type dot find dash and dash replace. And then we are going to open close bracket and hit enter. That way uh, we can start entering um, our font size change. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in font size. Yep, it's really simple as that. And then I'm going to put this at 150%. And then uh, we will end with a semicolon. And now once I click save, it should uh, change the, the size of the find and replace so we can watch. All right, so now you can see it's a little more readable. Um, it's pretty obvious of what you're looking for. Um, you know, it just makes the, the user experience a little bit better. Um, if you want, you can then change this. Let's say it was, uh, wasn't big enough. I could change it to 200% click save and now we can see that it's really big or maybe you just wanted to make it smaller so you could actually put it at 75% uh, and then we could see how much smaller it is and it's also not in your way as much uh, so you can continue to see your code while using the find and replace option now if you want to uh, roll this change back it's quite easy you can either delete this code um, you could comment it out by highlighting and then hitting control forward slash and it'll comment all of that code out for you at once or what you could do is you could just simply change this back to 100 percent and then everything will be back to normal